oh, oh, wait. Mad bitch alert. The bitches is all fake. Uh, oh, okay. The bitches all mad because bitches they ain't paid. And that's on the motherfucking mob, bitch. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard, you can feel all by yourself But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one in So don't isolate yourself, when there's nobody around I'll be there to think of that So Shay what did your pussy sit in your pants like? A fucking grapefruit is real fat and succulent. It vibrates a little bit when you touch it. What a true love we are <sighs> Hello, what's up? I don't know who's watching this or what you look like, but I do know you look good if you're watching my video and you find the proceed to watch me. I'm just saying. Before we get into today's story time, I do want to take the time to say if nobody has told you that you're beautiful, let me tell you. I don't just say this because I just want y'all to like, you know, if, you, if I'm saying it, you're not believing it. I'm not saying you got to know that you're beautiful, okay? Man, woman, boy, girl, young, old, black, white, tall, short, fat, skinny. You're beautiful. Oh, oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> Sit back, relax, get your snacks, tell your boyfriend, tell your girlfriend, tell all of them folks that you're gonna call them back because, child, oh, I hate touching my titties on camera because, like, people gonna think I'm trying to entice people and I'm thinking, like, am I gonna edit this part out? But, like, I really do be adjusting. My juicy bitch. I really do. I adjust them a lot. They be moving. Yes. Yes. Juicy ass titties be jumping on my shirt. Like, it's so annoying. Do you want to make your life more exciting? Are you the exciting friend? Are you the person that goes the extra mile? Are you the one that lives a lot? Would you be considered the restless friend? The whole, the charlatan. <laughs> I would be considered that too. We get along. I don't be trying to be reckless, but people will say what I do is reckless, which I just don't understand at all. Cause I, I just live in boring. Man. I came to the realization that my life is a hood bitch movie that is just never gonna cut off because every day is literally another scene. Like that's how I be. Although this is an isolated incident, this is not an isolated situation. I don't know what it's called. Somebody better let me know in the comments before I just go crazy. But like, I have this thing where the the, the spur of the moment is really where you'll get me to just, you know, go, go crazy. Like, I don't know. I'm just a spur of the moment type girl. So shut up, sit down. So girl, I pull into this motherfucking gas station. And mind you, if you any types of a real bitch and ever been to them sides of town, you know. You know that dudes be outside of the gas stations, Waffle houses, like, but mainly the gas stations. The dudes is gonna be like five, six, seven, eight, nine losers standing outside of a gas station, depending on what neighborhood you in. They always gonna be out there. They either gonna be the plug, they either gonna be out there, drag, drug addicts, crackheads themselves, or you know, they probably just gonna rob you. Every pretty bitch know, like, when you get to the gas station and you by yourself and you see them dudes, like, I'm finna have to pooch. Like, I'm finna have to. <laughs> Girl, head up. Not head, head up. <laughs> Walk past the night. But see, with me being me, because I'm so fine, and the world expects fine people like me to walk around with a sign and say I got a dick and I, I, I was born a male. You know, I see something totally different when I see a whole bunch of dudes outside of a gas station. I see an opportunity. I don't see a threat. I see an opportunity, bitch. Opportunity to either get nasty or unlawful because it's either gonna be one or the other. One of y'all gonna holler at me, try to flirt with me. I'm gonna flirt back. You gonna get my number if I'm feeling it. Or you gonna say something crazy and we're unlawful. So, you know, it's terrible. But let me tell you about the most fishy time that I pulled through. Cause every queen got a story time at the gas station. If you don't, you ugly and you're not at the house enough. Boom, it goes down to the gas station. And especially out here in Texas, girl. It's something about being broad day like this. <laughs> Just something about when you broad day like this. So not too long ago, I pulled into this gas station. I was actually on my way home because I like to take myself out to eat. Like, I don't know, I like, I just do that. I'm a fat ass. I, 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 yes, I, I, I. I'm the type of person, if I have to stop and get gas, I would naturally just tell myself, you need something to drink too. You need a snack. Like, I'm not just gonna pull up in a gas station, get out the pump and pump my shit and drive off. I feel like that's too focused. <laughs> too focused, girl. Like, you don't need nothing. So I pull in, I wanna say it was a Valero, actually. Real ghetto. That real ghetto. Valero, real. 
if you pick between a Tesla call and a Seagull and a Quick Trip and a Valero, you gonna find you some niggas out there, right? I'm T. It's like I pull into the little funky at Valero, girl. It's like six dudes out there. Because I have a channel, I like to acknowledge, you know, the scenery when I tell my story time because I like to paint the image for y'all. But I'm not bringing up these details because they were ever a factor to me. I just have to paint what I saw for y'all. Cause it's never a factor to me when I see a cluster of men. I'm I'm this won't be tried. So <laughs> yeah. But I don't pay no never mind. I pull up, I get out, and I'm walking towards the door and I look back. And as soon as I look back to see the pump like we all do, I hear Come on, stop. Gas pump here. Gas pump. I just ignore him because you know I'm not I'm not I'm, I'm not really feeling the dudes. I'm not really feeling the dudes. When I turn back around and I look over at them, I'm like When the other dudes was trying to sell me weed, I'm guessing he looked up, but he wasn't talking yet. But he's the only one I noticed because he was the cutest one out there. But I just, I looked at him, I was like, mm, I, I ain't even want to talk, girl. You know, I'm like, shoot your ass if you got a deep voice and you pretty. I don't know. Crazy. So I'm humming my way out of this situation. <laughs> I go in there, pay for my gas. I think I give me some of your, you know, a little miscellaneous shit, girl. Every interaction with a dude ain't massive and high tense, you know, for me at least. I don't hear no slick stuff when I walk in the store. You know, some of y'all girls be used to hearing, you know, I, I don't be hearing that. You know, it was just all regular. I'm making my, I'm making my purchase. I glance out the window at them. It's about four of them still waiting on me to come back out because I guess they're gonna, you know, they're gonna try again. When you go on the gas, you know if the dudes holler at you before you walk in the store, girl, you gotta come back out. Girl, like, it's just like, oh my gosh. Like, ugh, this is so annoying. I don't hold myself. Like, ugh. Whatever. I walk out the store, I hear this one tall, ugly dude yell out, hey, I got perks, I got, I got pills, I got everything, man. I got snow. Oh, girl, what's out of town? You just can't stop and get gas everywhere, girl. What's out of town? Is this? They're trying to steal me crack. Girl, I'm just getting gas. They're offering me coke. It's not hard to get the drug. It's not hard to get the drug. I wasn't going to shop with them anyway because they was ugly. I was going to shop. I'll shop with a plug if he cute. What I need an ugly man serving me for? That messes up my fantasy. When I hit my blunt, I need to remember the hands the weed was in. <laughs> Before I got it, if I think about the hands that gave me the weed and then I remember your face, I'm gonna stick the blunt out. I don't, I don't know. I'm different. So, nothing spectacular. I guess I was eye candy because, you know, I didn't get a woo woo, -woo Yeah. I make it back to my shit. I pump my gas. I pull out. Now, I don't notice at first, but the dude that I had noticed at first, the cutest one that really wasn't talking, he wasn't there no more. But when I get done pumping my gas and I'm getting ready to pull out, I see that he's to the left. Like, walking away from the stuff. Just by virtue, I have to turn out and go that way to go back home. So, I see him, I'm like, he got his stuff, is this thing? Like, when you a queen, you gotta, let me tell you something. When you gay, this world will try so hard to beat you down and just tell you, ugh. But you gotta know God be working for you sometimes because it had to be him. That the one dude that I thought was cute out of all of them, now he is singled out by himself. And there is one universal rule that you just have to know and you have to believe, ladies and the gays. If a dude is by himself, he's, he's if a dude is by himself, it, 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 the chances are high. Men are so easily influenced by men, but when they're by this, so you know, I pull out, and as soon as I pull out, I miss Benji. I am Miss Benji, girl. I cut Gucci up and rolled down all the windows. He gotta know what hood bitch coming by. This ain't no pretty ass suburban bitch. Like, this ain't. Free my dog, free my dog, free my dog. Yeah, so of course it's <laughs> just like all the time. Like, my <laughs> that nigga head jump back. Just like I expected, girl. As soon as I cut my music up and cut my windows down, girl, he's turning the fuck around, girl. I get to pulling. Mind you, he's a good bit of ways away from the stove to where, like, when I turned out and I was going the same direction he was walking, nobody in front of the store could see us. So, like, we was really out of sight and it really wasn't nobody around. And the weather had been like a little bad, so really most folks wasn't even out. So girl, I'm driving, you know, of course I'm looking at him, but I'm trying not to look at him. Like I'm driving, I'm like, <laughs> like I'm just trying to be so, like just so dead, girl. Just trying to get his attention, but I'm trying to get his attention, but won't want to look at me. You know how that be. So girl, I'm riding, I'm riding, I'm riding. I hear him say, hey, hey, I'm hey, hey. And I'm like, did it work? Okay, bro. So, bitch, I slows down a little bit and he starts jogging up and he's standing. Okay, I pulled out. I'm going, this is the road, this is the side of the road he's on. 
I pulled out to go this way. So he's over here, but it's that lane in between both of us and he's on the other side of the street. So girl, he runs up and he's still on that side of the street. And you know, he looking, I'm like, oh girl, this is the crucial moment that if he look like and get into my mother too much, he can instantly say, oh hell no. Nah. Then I'm gonna have to call him a bitch ass nigga that's why you walking. And I'm gonna drop off like, it, I match the aggression so crazy. I be prepared for every scenario. But girl, he looking, he like, shit, you can give me a ride up the street. I got another story time inside of a story time and this story time, y'all ready? The first time I was asked that from inside of a car by a dude that was walking outside of one, I was one of my old homegirls back in the day. She used to drive a scat pack, girl. Girl, niggas hollered at us all the time. I used to be happy driving that girl car. Happy girl. I'm in that passenger day. Hell, okay, girl, we leaving the market. Quit. Anybody know about the quick? Girl, trade off. Trade, girl, trade be knowing what to be at. Trade be walking around the quick trying to look lost. You gotta Google the quick, girl. You know, I'm, girl, Google it, Google it. Anyways, girl, we was pulling out the quick. You know, Trey walking around that lost night, he don't know what he had, like, uh, we see him, girl, he see us. Hey, hey, hey. I think he just hollering at the car, but see me, I saw so much, girl. I rolled down the window, you need a ride? I'm offering a ride from the passenger seat of the scat pad, girl. Yeah, she y'all can just take me up there. Girl, mind you, my friend is driving the car, girl. They nervous, like, we don't know him. Shut the fuck up, girl. Let them give him the motherfucking car, girl. Fine. And he walking. This was years ago. He got in the car, girl. We got to ride. He got in the back seat. Could have pulled a gun on both of us and robbed us. We did not know that man, but guess what? I just knew it was gonna go right. We get to ride, and he like nigga up up here. I'm like, okay. He was like, shit. So what y'all into? Bop. You can guess where it went next. I was in the park sucking dick. Back to this story. So when he said it, I instantly thought about that. <laughs> I was about to go out. You need a ride. <laughs> You need a ride. Boy, come on. Girl, mind you, we broad day like fish. He runs over, he gets in, you know what I'm saying? My shit, fine. Y'all been in my shit. Riding or whatever. Shit, he telling me shit. You gonna make this love up here. Shit, where you from? God damn, you blessed your shit? What shit up? Like, she ain't where I'm from. I'm not from here. Like, what? Okay, cool, 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 cool shit. You, you pretty than the motherfucker, though. I ain't gonna lie. You say everybody's fault. Your man gonna be mad I'm in here, huh? Like, we just having a good little banter, you know? Like, I done hit him up, but I'm, I'm just talking with the train. Like, what's up? When he got in the car, I started smelling hella weed on him. He had a little book bag on his back, too. So I'm like, you, you a plug? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't believe you. Pull it, what, 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 what? Let me see. What you got? Girl, he opened up his book bag, girl, and just showed a uh, plethora. I done picked up a plug, hit the jackpot. Mm. When I seen that he was the plug, and mind you, he was already the cutest dude out of all of them dudes that was already talking to me without me asking him to. I'm gonna end up sucking y'all. Cause I, cause I, you the plug, like, girl, you the man. But I can't tell him that, you know what I'm saying? I'm just taking by the way he wanna go. Good to mirror. But girl, we riding. I'm in no rush to get him out, and I could tell, I can't explain it, but like, I could definitely tell that he probably really didn't have nowhere in a rush to go or really just didn't want to ride that bad because like he just could have got it it was because it was me you know i look like me and i'm just you know woom -woom. so we riding girl and you know i could tell like he he waiting on me to bust the move i'm not gonna bust the move so i do this number right here i put some gloss on gets a nigga every time girl when he too quiet for me i do that then he said shit so what's up with you what you mean what's up with me I'm good. <laughs> Me being the fast one I am, I look over at him, you way over there, boy, my thigh is right here. Like, what? And I just kept driving the guy quiet, girl. <laughs> I don't know why I feel his hand come and creep up and touch my thigh. Let me tell y'all something, when you driving, and a man touch up, mind you, I had coochie cutters on, girl. Like, thigh, Liz, the meat is out, brown is out. The brown is out. Brown skin just gripping my thigh to my thick ass thigh to a lot of meat. Girl, he rubbing up on it and gripping up on it. And I feel no ways try to disrespect it. This is what I want. Like, it's just one of them spontaneous moments. You don't know that you want the moment because all I was going to go do is go to a gas station, girl. But now, I'm getting my thigh gripped on. Like, it's just how I work. So, girl, and I, I'm, I'm always down for a good time. So, girl, he get it rubbing on my thigh. And that's doing way more for me. Because I don't I be doing salacious stuff. You know, I'm, I'm really a good, good, good Good motherfucker. Like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really good. Like, I don't be like that. I don't be with the nasties. I don't ever do that kind of stuff. So, you know, this is all new for me. Like, I've never just been fast like that with a dude. But it, 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 it's just a rush. It's just a rush. Girl, he bubbling up on my thigh. Girl, I'm like, oh, okay. Shit, he got it. And then I'm thinking to myself, like, oh. Girl, 
I'm 50 gun. What is he gonna do? Like, he hasn't asked me yet, are you a girl? So he, he don't care, I don't know. Like, when he, it took him reaching up my thigh. And he wasn't trying to reach for my cootie cat that ain't there, cause he probably think I'm a fish. But like, that's the conundrum with being a pretty bitch. Like, you just never know, come to find out. He goes to reach and just reach for it. Almost like he know it's there. Me being a menace, I don't stop him. I don't say nothing. He just feel it. But see, when he do it, we are both not making facial expressions. Like, I'm just riding. He got his hand really like kind of grabbing around my like crotch area, like feeling like kind of, you know, trying to grow her. And if he's not feeling nothing because Tuck is a wound, you know? And so I guess he's convinced that it's, well, I don't know, but I had a good Tuck that day, girl. I got away, but I know what he was feeling for. You weren't gonna feel pain, baby. Just, nah, nah, baby, that's, nah. That ain't even to convince them. Like, I'm just gonna leave the house, Tuck and bull, you hear me? So I already knew he was trying to get in a little bit, but whoa. You asked me for a ride, but you don't know who called you get in. Shut up, I don't got no rules to follow, I'm living. After him feeling on me for a little while, girl, I say so, you ain't gonna put your like, I gotta do everything, damn. He was like, shit, my man, my man, I ain't know what you, how you want this to go. Uh-huh, yeah, you got in my car, didn't you? I would've drove out, like, yeah. Girl, we pull in this neighborhood, which I think is his, but he know a spot in the neighborhood, girl. So we pull, and we go to this, like, we over there back there. <clears throat> like a big ass parking lot, so it's not like we right by no dumpster, but I, I definitely know, like, oh, you probably brought me over here, cause ain't nobody gonna, oh, you, oh, you, 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 you like that. Okay. So girl, the reason, I don't know, I feel like the reason why I be more prone to do like, cause I'm not saying, it, this kind of stuff don't happen every single day. It, it be the moment that I live for. Like when it just randomly lines up and you not trying hard, that's probably the best time to like, just go for it. Cause like the stars are aligning, this is like, yeah. I like to make memories, I like to remember that when I was young, girl, I cut up like, the fuck, bitch? No, I'm not gonna be no old bitch cutting up. I'm young and cutting up. It makes sense to cut up. Young, I cut up, and I cut up bad. But they call me Miss Pimpum too. So I tell him, you do know you gonna have to give me like seven rounds, like six rounds. Like, I was gonna break you off, mama. Where your ticket? Like, boy, boy, that, what's up? I'm scared. Bitch, when I tell you, it's almost like, yeah. <clears throat> Y'all remember elementary school field day? Y'all remember elementary school field day? And y'all had a sack race. I remember them brown sacks. You be running on the sack race. It's almost like his pants was the sack girl. And he, it's like he twisted his wrist. Twisted his wrist off of in that gauntlet to pull that, it was so I'm not no dick hungry, dick thirsty girl. Like, I'm not hungry, I, I, I'm not thirsty for the pain. It's, but when you see one like that, as wild as you just did, this is a, a wild pain. I just caught a wild pain from a gas station. Like, girl, th th this is a hot catch. <laughs> this is a hot, this is a hot catch. This is a it was so fat, it hit my dough handle. He pulled it out, boom, bounced off the dough handle, girl, and fell in his lap. I'm like, Girl, no sense, no mind at all. Oh yeah, he cute. I was already seeing him at first. Now he ended up in my own finna so this. Mm. This boy tells me, uh-uh, you gonna let me eat that ass? Yeah. <laughs> I'm always ready, you feel me? I, I swear to you, I can't make this up. I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up, this is a candy moment. If I leave the house, I, I promise you, I'm not, I'm not just saying this for the camera. When I leave the house, I always make sure that my ass can be ate, just in case the dude randomly asks. It happens way more often than anyone will ever believe. I would need a GoPro. I would need to wear a tiny GoPro that probably like go behind my ear or something that can't nobody notice, just for people to believe the shit I say. I've been doing that for a while because like it, not saying that every dude that'll ask, but I have had moments where like, I didn't prepare, and, and I just, I just you know, walked out of the house, just, you know, not that I was shitty or nothing. <laughs> didn't purposely prep for that. And the opportunity arose, girl, and I had to play it off like I was just so holier than now, girl. <laughs> Bitch, I knew the fault with the smell shit. So, I actually prepared. I took myself out to eat. I knew that when I'm out and about by myself, the chances of just a nigga trying to 
than me just being down. So yeah, I was prepared actually. And a lot of you bitches wouldn't be ready. You play hard to get because you gotta go fresh. And if I get it, mama, I come eat this shit. I hop in my back seat, girl. Mind you, I'm in my back seat. My knees are taking up my full back seat. We up a hot day, like girl. I am bent over, chin over the back seat, looking at my trunk. This man could hop in my driver's seat and take off and have me <laughs> boom hit. <laughs> <laughs> he gets a lick at on his booty hole, girl. When I say it just, it felt so, because it wasn't supposed to be happening. Oh my God, that boy got up in here, girl. Tearing me up. I am supposed to be home. Like, what? It's burning the gas that I just put here, y'all. Mind you, mind you. He's doing it, I'm talking about, and he's just, I could tell he's really enjoying it because it's the way you grip. See, if a dude, you know, eating you out and stuff like that, but he not gripping you, he's not into it. When you into what you eat, they grip. It's like a, <clears throat> it's like they try to push your booty meat up. Like, just, I don't know, they just try to grip it in a way. It's, the boys just do, ooh. It's getting hot in here. Boys just love, especially when you're pretty and you find you think you got, you know, something to grip on. If they don't try to grip it, I love it. I love it. Go he gripping on me or whatever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The way I got my pants pulled out, you know, they're not all the way off. But at this point, he ain't finna see that I gotta. And, and he finna what? Girl, you'll get your shit rocked. <laughs> Don't try me, little boy. <laughs> you already gotta know what shit is giving. <laughs> People are gonna be as dumb as people get them the credit for. Boys love that folks will think that they always out the blue and don't know nothing and he innocent, he getting tricked. Niggas, we know, don't fall for that bullshit. You, you got to know, cause I don't even talk with a girl voice. T, especially, I, I really don't, I don't try to, this ain't a girl voice, is it? This is this is how I talk. You catch me on about this, you're not gonna catch me trying to talk like this. Oh my God, boy, hi, how are you? Girl, no, bitch. Niggas live for this. <laughs> Yes, I am. Folks should think you gotta do so much adjusting and stuff. Girl, no, you don't, bro. So he's doing that. I'm feeling it. I end up sitting down in the back seat. He ends up jumping back there with me, girl. When he jumping through the middle from the front to the back, his tip smacked me in my cheek so big. I'm like, oh my God, but bring it over here. I go over there to the other side of the truck. His back is leaned up against my door. I'm just a gobble, gobble, gobble. I don't care. Living regular is living loose. I'm tearing him the fuck up. I look up, girl. I see that the fish he set. So, like, I'm just doing what the fish, you know, supposed to be able to do. Just get some good head. That's all I know. So, bitch, and I wanted to. What's up? Like, woo, woo, woo. As I'm doing that, he says out the blue, Shit, I can get you head? Yes. Go ahead. I set up. <laughs> I sit back in that chair. I lay scooter down a little bit. He came up and pulled my pants off, girl. I boop, brought on out. No response from him, no jump. Because, you know, he got right down there and said, that's the gag, because you don't be expecting a trade to just, you know, jump into that so soon. But I mean, hey, hey. Y'all be ready to leap around this bitch. We all jumping, so girl, he jumped right down there. And I was not against it, because baby, I like it. It's like pretty as I am. Yes, I do, I do. I call it my, you know, my little secret, you know, my, my little secret friend. You know, my little secret friend needs some attention too, so. Do your thing. Dude's nigga's hot. I think you're just a pretty girl with the, but you got a dick. I, I, I guess they think it's hot, I don't know, I don't know. Benefiting me, on there working like he wanted to. And I was going for it, I was living, you know, I'm young, I'm turned, this is what it's all about. And I, I'm just living for it, you know, your homeboys don't know. You, 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 you know, it's just the whole, Mmm, just, ugh, yeah. This dude gonna look up and say, oh, Daddy, you like that? Man, what? Daddy. Daddy. Uh-uh. Let me tell y'all something. When I'm doing something that fast, it's a fantasy for me. It ain't just cause I like you. It ain't just cause, you know, you, you, you so great. You're, you're working into my fantasy. My, I, I'm fishy, fishy. Viciously fish. I'm fishy, fishy. So like, a girl with a thug wanna roll her and a thug wanna be, you know, fast. I'm gonna be fast with a thug. I ain't gonna be fast with no damn fist. And you sitting here, throw deep on me calling me daddy. Girl, do I look like your daddy? Your daddy don't ever look this good. Your daddy ain't never been this fine, honey. So don't, don't, girl, and I think, you know, 
I'm the worst because like some dudes they only do that when they feel like okay this is an intimate moment I can be honest with myself and just do some freak shit I just I just want to say how I feel no don't do that shit with me I'm gonna make you feel bad because I got some dudes where ain't no dude gonna call me daddy one but I got some dudes where you know when you when you get intimate with a dude even if he's the toughest dude ever thuggy 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 you get him in a bed and get him loose He'll fuck around and say some shit you never expected, so like, that's just a given, but I don't know you do, so you supposed to stay in character. I'm not gonna lie, it threw me off, girl, like, cause I just started thinking about, you so fast with me, you probably been fast with somebody else, you probably call somebody else, daddy, <sighs> punk ass nigga, like, I don't know. But he was doing good, girl, so I, 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 I thought I was gonna have to be like, you know, like, cause see, I be cutting on certain parts and then cutting off certain parts. I was fine with it, if we was to do a quickie real quick, you know, I be the girl, you be the boy, and you know, we just get through this thing, but I get when we both know that we boys and we both want to be boys and do real boy things. Cause baby, he got comfortable down there. As soon as the boys start trying to talk to me like that and I see that you like, you like please and or you submissive like that. Oh girl, I'ma get in that. I reached over, gripped on his ass, little juicy little boy, little boy. Girl, I'm gripping on that. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so soft. And he like, chill. Shut up, you got a dick in your mouth. Yeah. I gotta think about another dude that ain't said nothing like that to me just to get through this because he then just ruined it. All you had to do was just be, uh, he was doing so good. The whole time up until that moment, he was just like straight face biting his lips. Just, uh, but as soon as he got in that position, then you want to get vocal and say the wrong shit and fuck up my fantasy. So yeah, girl. I went ahead, just rushed my mind to go ahead and uh, finish that one because I was just over it, but I was going to get my nut. We already started this. Crazy thing is though, I got mine first and he ended up saying, put your toes in my mouth and I'm gonna finish. And I was like, hey, let's work for me. We're in the back seat, girl. Extend my leg. And the boys, that that that's really a fetish out there, y'all, because it, it did something to him. I was rolling, just, I'm talking about he was just going. I once I got mine out, you know, I don't I don't even know how he got here no more. Like, what, what the hell am I doing right now? But you know, he was cute, whatever. I got some free weed out and shit, like hey. I'm looking at him and I think it is the most cute thing to watch a dude like you know I think it's just so cute because you're watching him like like I don't know it's just like this is what you do in your spare time like in your room by yourself but I'm looking like this is how you do it oh and you know and you can look I, I, I'm such a nosy bitch because like I know a dude think I'm a freak because I was staring at him the whole time but I wasn't looking like like I was getting turned on I was really trying to learn something like it's different kinds of dudes, you know, some of them, they the super fast ones, some of them are the close to the tip, kind of keep it there, kind of stroke, 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 then hold it at the end and waggle it a little bit, let it hit the air, and then, like, I'm just looking. He was the tip one, girl, like, he liked to hold his, like to hold his tip, that, that's the only thing he struck, he ain't going, uh, oh, nah, he was, I'm like, ooh, you know what that mean, girl, that's, that's the ones that they 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 the most sensitive when it comes to head because like if he's stroking and he just only trying to hit their tail he know he's sensitive he's hitting his own butt like ding, 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 ding. so yeah when the dude do that to himself I look because I'm like oh that's your button girl he hit that button and made that button pop not on my ceiling girl I'm like damn I gotta get that off after that I looked at him I'm like wow you're fine he was like. Shit, you crazy. I'm like, yeah, I know. I get out, girl, I realize, girl, when I get out, I'm in my damn, uh, my, my coochie cutters is halfway off still, and I'm barefoot. I don't know how I ended up like that. See, he got out, and he got in my front seat. God. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Oh, uh, shit, you can drop me out by the house. And we in your neighborhood. Nah, 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 this, this ain't my neighborhood. Oh, okay, you that kind of trait, okay. You don't care who see you in here, you don't live here. He put in his address, girl, as I'm like pulling out of that parking lot, you know, to get back to the main road outside of that neighborhood. He's pulling up his address, and I see that shit say nine minutes away. First of all, you didn't walk nine minutes from there to sit at that stove just to turn. A nine minute walk, I don't even know how long of a drive that is. That, that's no, no, a nine minute drive. I don't know how long of a walk that is. I just know you didn't walk that. You trying to get somewhere where you couldn't have got without a car. And you trying to get there with me. See, I just like a good time. I don't like doing favors. I'm not that nice, sir. So, nah, I tell you what though. <laughs> a bitch I got to this random ass street in that neighborhood. I stayed here. I'm gonna drop you off here. 
get my number and text me when you get home. It was a plug, honey, so I had to give him my contact. I gave him my number. He thought it was gonna be a fake one, so when I gave him my number, he called my phone right there, so I had his number. Uh, uh, well, yeah. I guess he wanted to make sure, I don't know, girls giving out fake numbers a lot. I've done it before, though. I put his ass the fuck out, because as cute as he was, as fire as he was, as freaked as he was, Shotty, I don't fuck with you like that enough to just take you nine minutes through this. I don't even know you like that, Shotty. This ain't in my hood. Like, wait, wait, you better walk, Shotty. You, you got motivation now. <laughs> okay. That's where this video comes. Oh, girl. Ooh, Trey just broke out of the truck. Ooh. All of that stemmed from a gas station trip. Now, I'm not saying all of your gas station trips are going to end up with you, you know, doing that, but I don't think it's going to be my last time. <laughs> Story time, yes, I'm back with the story times child. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, tell your brother, tell your sister, tell your cousin about me. All of them probably already watched me on it, but guess what? That's what's up. Remember to love yourself and be yourself unapologetically. Remember to carry yourself like royalty at all times. Even if I'm posting or not, y'all better still be carrying it like royalty. Remember to carry yourself like royalty because if you carry yourself like royalty, these folks is going to have to. I really love how I had my fan just wedged in between my. Uh, just the perfect little wound. But until next time.